The new plans for Europe's premier knockout competition are expected to come into change in 2024, off the backs of the Super League formation. Following the announcement of the Super League that involves 12 of Europe's biggest clubs forming a breakaway league, UEFA have announced their own reforms of the existing Champions League. Before we get forward with the video, please consider subscribing to our channel to see more content from us. Plans to introduce an expanded 36-team format where every club plays 10 league stage games against 10 opponents were approved by UEFA's executive committee on Monday, less than 24 hours after the ESL had signaled its intention to launch a rival competition. Games will also be played on Thursdays instead of Tuesdays and Wednesdays. The top eight sides will then automatically qualify for the knockout stage, with the teams finishing in 9th to 24th place facing off in a two-legged playoff fixture in order to progress to the last 16 of the competition. These changes will also be made for the Europa League with eight matches in the initial league stage, as well as the new Europa Conference League set to begin its inaugural season later in 2021. These two lower division competitions will also be expanded to 36 teams in each league stage. Qualification to the Champions League will more or less be the same, with spots earned through a team's results in their respective domestic leagues. With the competition being expanded to allow for more teams, the additional spots will be allocated towards the club ranked third in the championships of the fifth-placed UEFA National Association rankings. Another spot will go to a domestic team through Champions Path qualification. The last two spots will go to the clubs who have the highest club coefficient from the past five years that have not managed to qualify for the Champions League group stage, but have managed to qualify for the Champions League qualification phase, Europa League or Europa Conference League. The Juventus chairman, Andrea Agnelli, was a key player in drawing up the plans. He was head of the European Club Association before stepping down after the launch of the ESL. What are your thoughts on the new format of the Champions League? Let us know in the comments below.